Welcome back to another video. I'm that dating anxiety guy, Daniel Colbert. And uh, yeah, again, another few interesting busy days uh, since my last video, which kind of sounds a bit like, you know, you're uh, you're going in to see a priest to go and make like a last confession sort of thing. Um, I have had to deal with sorting out the laptop. It did actually die and I had to reboot it and start it all up. Hence why there's been about a four or five day break from, uh, from videos again since my last announcement. But it is back up and running. It seems to be working better than ever. So touch wood, it certainly stays that way and I'm able to just carry on making videos as normal. But also, I, I did actually get to uh, to do a bit of filming uh, with a uh, a very popular dating coach. So uh, that also kind of kept me busy uh, for a day or two as well. But we are back making videos again with this new format, with the new branding as well. And I think today I'm going to just sort of start with a bit of an easy one to certainly get back into the rhythm of making videos again. And that is that I wanna help you to consider identifying your flaws. And when you're thinking about working with a coach, try not to consider you know working on absolutely everything there is to know about the world of dating in just that specific window of time that you are spending working with a dating coach. So when guys consider going to dating coaches, you know, whatever their traumas are, whatever their lack of experiences or whatever their situation or experiences might be, they are all tend to come in with the, uh, the same or very similar mindset of that they want to be able to fix the entirety of their their dating life. So they are thinking about the actual um, cold approach, being able to go over and start a conversation with a woman, whatever the situation. They'll also be considering the actual conversation skills, then also the texting, then the dates, then also being able to uh, be seductive, as well as maybe even how to perform sexually or uh, more efficiently proficiently one of the two i suppose maybe both uh, might be appropriate you know if you're sleeping with someone but guys think that all of these things are going to be solved in you know that space of a week and the reality is is like depending on what a guy's um, background or situation is and i am going to do a video uh that uh i i've kind of dubbed the theory of dating relativity which may already be out by the time you actually watch this video but you know depending on what a guy's background is they are going to be in very different places to other men in how their social skills are with women so you might find that one guy being able to just hold eye contact with a woman might be very difficult, whereas with another guy, he can actually stop and talk to women, but he's just not learning to be sexual enough. Or maybe there's another one who just doesn't know how to have a conversation and he just has very boring conversations. So everyone's in very different places, but that could also be relevant to you know the kind of social upbringing and the lifestyle and stuff that they've got. But I mention that because everyone is going to have very different flaws or very different issues that they need to tackle in dating. So when you're going to a dating coach, yes, a dating coach should and be able to teach you everything. But I want you to consider the idea that when you're paying for a dating coach, maybe just focus on a specific issue and work on that first. And I'll give you an example. So whenever um, I would go out and do um, street approaching and I would sort of get myself back into the fluidity of uh, talking to people and developing my social skills, because in truth, when I'm doing a lot of filming with clients, especially um, before the lockdowns, when I was doing a lot of events and filming on the street, when I'm working, I'm actually in a very unsociable situation because my job is more about observation than actually 
having communications with people. And I would find that it would put me in a very unsociable mood or because I'd been quiet for hours just watching other people being sociable, it would actually make me very introverted and it would take me a little while to get myself back into that momentum of talking where my brain had been sticky just from not uh, not thinking and talking right. It's kind of the same sort of experience that you might get if you've just woken up in the morning, you've gotten out of bed and you then try and start having a conversation with someone it can be very difficult. It can be really, really difficult to just think really clearly. So you have to warm your brain up. So point being, I mentioned that is that whenever then I'd had long periods of doing filming and I would kind of feel that introverted bubble somewhat grow. When I would go out then to do uh, to do cold approaching on the street and I would go out with friends, I would somewhat give myself what I would dub as a boot camp experience. I would dedicate three or four days to just focusing on doing street approaching or developing conversations. And when I would do that, I wouldn't be going out onto the street and thinking, right, I've got to sleep with women. I've got to make it X amount of numbers and, and so on. All I focus on is literally just that starting point. I just want to get comfortable stopping people, giving compliments and having conversations. So usually what would happen is my first day would be almost nothing more than just getting used to stopping people and giving compliments. And you might think, oh, well, you know, you know think, why didn't you go for numbers or why don't you do that? If I'm not able to improve uh, that that first impression that I want to give to people, it can be very difficult to get a much more, I think, solidified interaction that will result in me getting a phone number that will get someone out on a date. So it's really about improve. For me, it was always about then improving that that first impression with with a woman. And so my first day was really nothing more than just giving compliments, asking for directions um, and just warming myself up into the mood and momentum of talking to people. And then day number two, that would be where after I'd recognized that, you know what, I'm comfortable with doing this now, the next day, right, I want to try and have more conversations with people. I'm going to carry on doing what I was doing on day number one, but now I'm going to introduce more things into number two. I want to up my game with this. And that would be then when I would just get myself more comfortable with having conversations with people again. And when I got more more comfortable with that, and of course, during that, you still, I would be asking for phone numbers. You know, if I've met someone that I'm attracted to or I am I enjoy the company of, then, you know, you'd be silly not to take that opportunity. You want to develop and grow here still. But I would then just keep on pushing it. And then it might not even be about the conversations. It might be then situational. So my first and second and third day might be just only talking to people who are you know on their own they're not in groups but then it might be more group related it might be going into a shop you know which are things that you're not really going to be able to do on the first day but the point with all of this story is that I'm just focusing a bit at a time on the things that I'm struggling with the most and then as soon as I've got very complicit Uh, and I'm confident with that particular point or issue in my dating skills, that's when I then focus my attention on the next bit as well as on the first bit. Strengthening and just building up that uh, that progress bar for everything. So there's no point then uh, when guys are going, um, uh, are having a coaching experience and if they struggle with having a conversation with someone or they struggle with even being able to go over and just start a conversation with a stranger, then there's no point worrying about getting a phone number, going on a date, trying to have a relationship with someone, let alone even potentially seeing them as a sexual partner. You're just gonna overstress yourself out and there's no point giving yourself this extra anxiety for things that 
are so far ahead in the future. But if you're just focusing on your flaws in the allotted time and however long that time takes, so if you're, for example, maybe struggling to stop strangers, even if because of just your background uh, and experience, lack of experiences, even if for the entire week you are spending all of that time just getting good at being able to stop strangers and start having conversations, that is still a fantastic fantastic level to be at because it means you can if you want to then still develop uh getting phone numbers going on dates etc you've got an opportunity to go back to a dating coach and practice the next level stuff along with the stuff that you're doing already because i have again seen it so many times where guys have way too much of an expectation or they set the bar way too high for themselves and when they start underachieving when working with a dating coach they are just heartbroken um, at the results that they're getting and they just stress themselves out Um, and also what tends to happen is after they've worked with a dating coach they don't carry on with stuff because they just they haven't set that bar low enough to be like right I've now got something that I can learn to maintain, work on this skill, get it as efficient as I can, and then come back to a dating coach. You know, if you're spending whatever kind of money, uh, and you know, there is a certainly a, a selection of prices of coaches that are out there, but you know, just focus, really get the most out of your time with a coach, especially if they're listening to your interactions, they're able to give you exercises that help you to maintain your anxiety or let alone just really focus on that skill of the five minute sales pitch. So point with this video is that if you're gonna go and work with a dating coach, consider just focusing on the flaws that you've got first rather than the entire aspect of dating, you know, you've got all of the time in the world with that. But if you can work on just the fundamental or foundation, that's probably the better word, the foundations of, you know, what you need to do to improve your cold approach skills and be able to talk and socialize with strangers, then, you know, everything else will somewhat fall into place. But you have to... Uh, I suppose the term is like you have to learn to to walk before you can run. You know, there's no point trying to think about uh, for the guys who are very anxious or maybe do lack experience. There's no point thinking about like, oh, yeah, as soon as when I work with a coach, I'm going to end up like sleeping with lots of women and I'm going to get like a crazy amount of phone numbers and go on dates. Don't worry about that. Just focus on your time with approaching, developing your conversation skills and get good at that. You've got all the time in the world. Even if you end up just focusing on that for a couple of months or whatever, it doesn't matter. I've known coaches over the years who it took them years to to get good because they were still like figuring stuff out and certainly because of the lack of knowledge and, um, uh, and guidance that was out there in the world, they really had to go through a lot of the trial and error processes. But to understand that... You've got to take, I think it's agile. You've got to take a bit more of an agile approach with dating. Like just focus on part one, get really good at that. And then focus on part two and part one. Get really good at that. Then three, two and one and so on. Um, And however long that takes. And don't stress yourself out in thinking like, oh, well, I know that person worked with a dating coach and they got this amount of results. They aren't you. They have got very different backgrounds and experiences again. Um, And uh, and yeah, you just can't be uh, comparing yourself to other men. It's going to be about your journey and experience that you're going on. So moral of this is that when you are working with a dating coach, if you're even considering working with a dating coach, and even if you're not, just go out and practice working on the things that you are struggling with the most whatever those weak points are that are stopping you from having uh the date in life that you want focus on them focus on your conversation skills focus on the approach focus on just eye contact with people whatever it is 
identify what your flaws are that you are struggling with in your dating life and focus on whatever the foundational thing is first. There are so many elements to dating and if you can just be really good at the foundational stuff and build on it from there, just consider where you'd probably be in like six months to a year or more from being consistent and developing your skills to a really efficient level. So that is pretty much it from the video. Uh, I really hope that you found this interesting and useful. Um, I'd love to hear your comments below the video. Um, and and I want to hear what you would think uh, or what you think your flaws are. Um, what are you going to a dating coach for to help you specifically with? Or what are the things that you would love to be able to work on that would dramatically change your dating life or at least even get you that kind of stepping stone towards having the dating life that you want. So if you can like the video, of course, comment below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on more content. Um, I, as I say, I'm gonna try and get back into the rhythm of doing these videos. I know we've kind of got the Christmas period coming up, um, but I'm gonna certainly try and do my very best to be putting content out on a regular basis again, and uh, also prep you for the new year and uh, the new you, not to sound cheesy, but you know, the, the new you as well, and hopefully get you the dating life that you want in 2024 and if you are struggling with any of that uh, check out my website and I offer therapy and life coaching as well to help you move forward in that right direction so I am that dating anxiety guy and uh, till the next video